Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the month of June 2018. Let's do it. All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius for the month of June 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius. I'm seeing a light blue energy. It's like water, okay? Um, Kind of what it looks like here. There could be some healing coming to you. That would be really nice. Um, flowy energy, very flowy energy. I feel you might be very much in the flow right now of things, just really going with the current, not really trying to stir things up too much, not really trying to resist, just going with the flow. Excellent. As an air sign, I feel like that's kind of your thing. 
Yeah. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> All right. Aquarius. What do we got for you? Starting off with your overall energy, we have the Page of Wands. Okay. A new direction, a new start, um, a new spiritual reality, I'm thinking. Um, wanting to send a passionate, passionate message also. We've got the Queen of Cups here. We've got the Fool in reverse. And we also have the Five of Cups. Um, okay, so there's some regret, there's some remorseful energy, and I feel like some of you want to take a leap of faith, but you don't feel you can, and that's coming from elements within the situation in the past. I don't know if this is, like, within love or just in general. Um, it could be in love because we have the Queen of Cups here, and I'm feeling like, Aquarius, you are the Page of Wands, and I'm, I feel like I'm speaking to a masculine energy here. Um, you've reached some sort of uh, enlightenment, you've stepped into a new spiritual awareness, and you want to reach out to a feminine energy who would be depicted as the Queen of Cups, um, and you want to take a leap of faith, but you feel like you can't, you feel like you're stuck, you're blocked, um, and that has to do with the Five of Cups energy, this remorse that you're feeling. Um, this could also be you are starting to embody more of your feminine energies if you are a masculine energy um, and you want to embark on a new adventure but again remorse and regret are holding you back okay um, and if, if you're not well I mean I feel like you're you're uh, getting in touch with your emotions more and so that would be embodying more of your feminine energy okay in your storyline, we have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So there is an element of releasing old attachments, releasing stagnation, um, releasing some material aspects that were holding you back in the past. But this is now allowing you to go forward towards something that would be Wish Fulfillment for you. Next, we have, oh wow, we have the King of Cups. So we've got counterparts here. And I do feel like this is the energy of that masculine that I was speaking to. Um, with, ooh -wee, the Chariot. So, Aquarius, um, I mean, there is a masculine energy here. This could be you or this could be someone else um, that really wants to move forward. And with this, I'm feeling like move forward with love because this is moving towards, you know, what your heart desires or moving forward with your emotions. And it's funny because the queen, this the king of cups came out right under the queen of cups, and the queen of cups to me in this spread is looking right at that king of cups. So this could also be Aquarius. This could be you getting in touch with your your emotions, your femininity, um, your your emotions, and allowing that to now propel your masculine your masculinity, your masculine energies to to go towards something that you truly desire, that you truly love, yes? Moving forward, we have the star in reverse. So here you are, Aquarius, um, but there is a lack of hope here, and that, that makes sense because it's right under the Fool, and we did have the Five of Cups underneath everything on the deck. So, and what I was speaking to before about somebody wants to take a leap of faith but feels like they can't, lack of hope, lack of faith. And the Emperor, all right, so definitely masculine energy. We could be talking Twin Flames here. Um, and the emperor could be Aries. Now, um, what I'm seeing here with the star in reverse, but coupled with the emperor, there is an objective point of view at play here. Okay. Trying to see the truth for what it really is. And I'm also picking up the energy of, well, no, I can't really move forward with this. It's not logical just because of what has happened in the past. Um, and that's not the case, you know, that really isn't always the case, you know, there could, ooh, sorry guys, there could be, you know, just some things that need to be worked out, some things that need to be healed first um, with the star in reverse. And then you actually may be in the process of healing. You actually may be in the process of uh, taking responsibility for whatever happened in the past that leads you to be experiencing or someone leading someone to be experiencing this five of cups energy, yeah? Moving forward, we have the Three of Wands. So someone wants to take action, like passionate action. And we <laughs> we have the Hierophant in reverse. So this you could be dealing with a Taurus also. Um, 
But what I'm seeing here is someone moving away from dogma, someone moving away from societal norms and um, societal pressure, releasing all of that and moving in their own direction, okay? That's really good. Yeah, I just heard not taking shit from nobody, and that came from the emperor. So that's good. <laughs> moving forward, we have the moon, okay? So deception, um, secrets with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so guys, look, we do, some of you really do want a new start and you feel like you can't have it, but that's not the case. Um, things are not as they seem. You know, uh, there could be, maybe within some of the next moon cycles that we go through in June, you know, you could be presented with a brand new opportunity for something, but you just can't see it yet. So don't get caught in despair, you know, don't allow yourself to stay in this state of lacking hope and faith because miracles can happen at any time, all right? Moving forward, we, <laughs> we've got the lovers. So we have the king and the queen of cups and now we have the lovers. I mean, that's a really good sign. This could be a really deep soulmate, great, whoa, soulmate relationship and we have the ace of wands here. Inspiration, okay? This doesn't have to be a relationship, a romantic relationship. This could be, you know, whatever, whatever this is for you, um, that is your heart's desire. A choice has been made here and this choice is in the vein of going towards what is you want, okay? And that's really inspired you. You are feeling very, very inspired right now. Someone is. Someone is feeling insanely inspired because of the connection that they built with themselves. Yeah? Moving forward, we have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. So, I mean, you're standing, sitting pretty. Okay? Independent. Ready to go. Ready to take the, the bull by the, the horns and move forward. Okay? Uh, with the empress guys the emperor is here the empress is right below him definitely could be talking twin flames or we could be talking just divine counterparts all right um so what's what i'm seeing here is the masculine energy in this relationship is feeling a lack of hope is feeling that things are kind of all is lost is wanting this ace of pentacles this brand new start is wanting to move forward with his heart's desire now this could be a physical woman but i'm just talking energy here um wanting to move forward with his with their heart's desire but thinking that they can't like they but things are not really as they seem the feminine energy here is very much in her independence she's detached she's doing her own thing and she looks damn good doing it yeah nine of pentacles and the empress okay now this is also talking about if we're not talking about tw talking twin flames or divine partners or um romantic relationships we are talking about um a situation where you capricorn or maybe someone else around you mostly for you capricorn if you're resonating in this way um, you are independent, you're strong, and you have the fertile environment to bring your dreams and your wishes into fruition, okay? So take advantage of that, please. Finally, we have Five of Swords, oof, conflict, with the, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This masculine energy is really feeling some conflict is wanting to move forward with a, 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 a message of love, but there's, but feels like they can't. And this is again, because of what has happened in the past and within this situation, um, kind of a damned if I do damned if I don't situation, like they want to move forward, but they, they, they know that they're, that may, may not be received well. So they're kind of feeling stuck, but at the same time, they, know that if they say or they at least they feel that if they stay silent for too long then things could get even worse i'm sorry i had to end the, end the spread that way but let's get into some uh, action oracle guidance from the a unicorn or capricorn for the month uh, i'm sorry not capricorn aquarius i just did capricorn for aquarius for the month of June. Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. Action Oracle Guidance, please. 
spirit. Top. Passion. Yes. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. So look, if you were feeling at all What is the word I'm looking for? If you were feeling at all like you couldn't move forward with what you're, what you're passionate about, this card is confirmation that you just need to do it. Get on with what you're passionate about. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Yeah? The chariot. Like, move forward with conviction, with love. Feel supported because the universe has your back. As long as you're staying true to your heart's desire, you really cannot go wrong. Because ultimately, even if the situation ends up looking bad, there's definitely something you can learn from it and move forward with. And so with this fool in reverse energy, wanting to take a leap of faith, but feeling like you can't, again, passion is saying, just do it. Okay, Capricorn. Jeez, oh, Aquarius. I don't know why, why do I keep doing that? I'm so sorry. Maybe there's a Capricorn around you, but literally I just did the Capricorn reading, so maybe that's why too. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to get into some spiritual guidance for you, Aquarius, for this month of June. Here we go. Sacred Pleasure, card number 44, Goddess Bastet, Bastet and Cat's Eye. All right, let's see what the book has to say about this one. Also, um, speaking to some Twin Flames here, uh, 44, 144, 44. I mean, I've been seeing 44 like crazy. It's, it's nuts, guys. But there's another synchronicity for you. We bring you the empowerment of sacred pleasure. It is said that the spirit had to be enticed into the body to give up its complete freedom, freedom and willingly take on an experience of limitation that could lead to divine growth. It needed to deal to be sweetened. Oh, it needed the deal to be sweetened. So music was created. Music that could only be felt and expressed through the body. Spirit jumped in like a flash and life was created. There is more life that, that can be created in you and your world. Although there are undoubtedly struggles as a natural part of opening up to more life, there is divine sweetness too. That is the gift of sacred pleasure. This is the pleasure that gives you joy in your aliveness. It is innocent, sensual, and life-affirming. It is time for you to receive more of this. The oracle says it's time to put a little sugar in your bowl. And what is that sugar? The things that you're passionate about. The person that you love. The person that you want to be with, around, be around all the time. The, the, the ideal career that you have been desiring for so long, Aquarius. Put all of this remorse and regret and shameful energy behind you. Because that's all in the past, okay? You don't have to feel like that anymore. Just connect with yourself, connect with your heart, connect with what it is you are passionate about, and move forward with it. You don't have to be afraid. All right, Aquarius? There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me and tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of July. Take care. Bye.